don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you get the latest alerts on the new videos and tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawad Lee's walkthrough video. Today we are going to look at actions and action policies. There are two types of actions which you can assign to any of the devices, one for their performance and the other one for their active monitors. So we are going to talk about and look into action policies which are related to active monitors. So to configure any action and action policies, you would need to go to settings, action and alerts, and then you have action and policies over here. You can see there are some default uh, actions and policy is already available, but we are going to talk about what kind of actions you can create and how you can create the policies. So to create an action, you just need to click on this add sign. You have lots of different actions which you can create. Um, but today we are going to look into email action alert so that in case if the device goes down, or sh um, a user should get an email notification for that. I would name this email notification as notification about down active monitors. You can come down and you can change the configuration settings. You can change the mail to recipient email address or if you want to put more than one email addresses I prefer to put a distribution group or else you can put semicolon or invert a comma and then you can put another one so you can change the mail content of the email notification but of course I'm not going to change it but if you want you can customize this notification also so if you look, we have created an email action over here. An action cannot be assigned to a device. To do that, you would need to create an action policy. And the action policy is basically a combination of different actions or it could have only one action also. So I would probably name it active monitor down policy. And I would add the action which I would like to assign it and at what stage I would like to assign this at the state change whether the state goes down up or it can be down for two minutes 20 minutes five minutes something like that and then I can repeat the section if I want and then I can click OK and now the section policy would be created now the other step is to assign the section policy to one or multiple device if i would like to assign it to one device i can right click on this device and i can go to device properties and i can assign the section over there the other way is i can click on this i can come over here again i can go to device properties and i can assign action policies from here to this device right or there is another way you can select multiple devices or a group of devices and you can for example I'll click on the discover devices and then I click over here and I have added devices this option is to do bulk field changes if you want to do um, one particular change or couple of changes to all the devices which are part of this group or which you have selected you can do it so what I'll do I'll say assign action policy and I'll choose the monitor down policy to this so now if I go over here and just go to properties to just verify if my action policy has been assigned to it or not so if you look over here my active monitor down policy is assigned to this uh, device because I selected this group so it is assigned to all these three devices actually
So if I want to test it, definitely I would need to bring down any of these devices and then I would definitely get an email alert about that. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you would have learned something from this tutorial. Thanks for watching for Wild Lakes Walkthrough videos. I hope you get some helpful knowledge from this tutorial. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more details about any of the products I'm talking about.